Okay, these are more common fan switches on newer appliances. This one here, that's the sensing portion of it right there. That is placed in the airstream and uh, it'll shut it off depending on the temperature. Now one of the things I want to note about most of these fixed, because these are fixed limit switches, that means they shut off at a certain temperature. Let's see if I can figure out a little something on this thing. This is what I wanted to show you is right here. It says L190-30F. What that means is at 190 degrees, this thing is going to pop and limit out. 30 degrees less than this, it's going to pop back on. So it's an automatic reset limit. This limit here, if you look close, you'll see L200F-30. Goes off at 200, 30 degrees less, comes back on. This one here, a little harder to read, but it also, on the bottom there, says limit 200F-30. So it's the same thing. This one here, L165-40. That means uh, 165 it kicks off and 40 degrees less than that comes back on. So they all tell you what they are. Now, when I look, when I look at these limit switches, there's one thing these things all have in common. These are all factory limits. They come with the furnace when it's new they are designed for that furnace okay none of these limits can be exchanged for a general replacement limit certainly cannot be replaced with a limit switch with a different temperature rating the factories do not want you to place your own type of limit into these furnaces they want these limits that's it if you take and put, let's say I took this one here and a limit kept kick, kick, kicking off. Okay, so I went and found one that said 250. The limit was 250 on it. Okay, I put that in there, it stops kicking off. It's gonna burn up the furnace too. And factory catches you doing that, they will not warranty it, and you are the liable one. None of these can be replaced with general replacement limits. They have to be the same uh, limit rating, they have to be the same length. Like I could not take this limit and put it in the same application as this limit. They're not the same one. They don't even mount the same so it'd be kind of hard to put in anyway. But these limits are made by the manufacturer for their furnace and they are not to be replaced by limits that don't work. What you should be doing if you find one of these constantly kicks off, is find out why it's kicking off. There's an airflow problem. So you need to deal with that. Okay. So that's all on those type of limits. Next one I'm going to go into is rollout switches.